back to my channel fly high with priya i hope that you all are doing well today in this video i'll be discussing the summary of the play the hairy ape which is written by eugen o'neill now this play is divided into eight scenes and the main character or the protagonist of the play is young smith he is a stalker in a ship now when the play opens the whole scenario of the ship is described the stock hall place is described that how the workers are working how the stockers are doing their work that place is described that it is very dark and very smoky because coal is there blackness is there different different stockers are described and the main stock stalker there is young smith he is different from other stockers because of uh, his physique means he is very broad he is fierce he is very healthy and he is somewhat kind of the uh, a leader of those stalkers and in work wise also he is very healthy means he can work for hours without any rest now when the play opens these stalkers are sitting and they are resting they are having drinks they are drinking beer yank also comes and sits there he asks for beer and uh, instead of serving one beer bottle they serve him two because he he is respected and all people are very much afraid of this yank also because of his strength you know he is a leader that's why now what happens that as they were drinking as they were talking one man gets up and he says that how they are suffering how poor people are suffering and due to this what happens this yank gets angry and he shouts on him and says that you shut up and sit down ha na so then another man Uh, his name is long that that man gets up and he starts speaking about the Mar uh, marxist thinking ha huh? he says that poor people are the sufferers and the capitalists are uh, harassing them ha huh? so yang gets angry on this topic also then paddy who is an experienced and old person says that yes there is a difference because he has experienced the days of freedom when people were free and now he is experiences uh, he is experiencing the age of industrialization means now the people suffering have increased they are uh, very much increased and the difference between poor and rich have increased with time young is no uh, young disagrees on this very matter he says that uh, the things which are gone are always the best you know it's the logic it's always the thinking of man he says that uh, he is To, uh, in total belongingness with his work means he likes his work he says that this is the age of industrialization and he thinks that he uh, is very much uh, like steel and industry we cannot progress without industry and uh, these people these people think that they are the sufferers but this man this young says that he is not the sufferer he is the one who is making this industry run these industries run he says that he is the one who is making this ship move as he is adding coal in the engine that's why this engine is run running hai na so total belongingness is there with his work he just likes his work now what happens the scene shifts it is uh, the scene shifts to the deck there is a girl mild mild red duckless and an aunt and her aunt is there and they both are talking now this aunt says that uh, you believe in charity hai na so she she says yes means this girl is habitual of doing charity she helps poor people but this uh, aunt says that you do not like to do charity basically you just uh, want to show off your wealth means for popularity you are doing all these things hai na this girl doesn't uh, you can say agree on this note she says no uh, then aunt says that you always uh, show people that they are poor and she is rich if you want to do charity you don't have to claim that these people are poor and i am rich you know you can just simply help them and why do you move at different different places to help people you can help people at a particular place also you know now this girl is getting ready or you can say she is waiting to see the stock hall the place stock hall uh, under the uh, ship you know she is waiting for the second engineer second engineer arrives and he says that yes you can go and see that stock hall He says that before going there, please do change your clothes because you are wearing white clothes and they will get dirty because there is so much coal and blackness there. She says that no, no. If they'll get dirty, I'll just throw them. I'll I'll wear uh, new clothes. I'll buy new clothes or whatever she says like this. So she goes there in the stock pool. Now the workers were working and as they saw that beautiful girl, they stopped working. Huh? Now he why this girl is there It means curiosity out of curiosity. They stop working and as everyone stops, this person, uh, this young. Uh, notices that why they have stopped you know so he basically was doing his work so he turns to see that what has happened why they have stopped and as he turns this girl was just standing behind him and as he turns she becomes afraid 
and she after looking at yang's uh, broad healthy body she shouts uh, and she becomes afraid and she says that you feel the beast and after remarking this very statement she falls un unconscious you can say and uh, that's why she's taken by uh, the other people who were with her now this very statement that you feel the beast totally uh, means break the heart of this person yank and paddy comes and he says that she has called you a monkey basically she has called you a beast an animal hai na so this person gets very angry with her and uh, as the workers were doing their work but he doesn't do his work he was just sitting as the ship arrives on the harbor all the workers clean their uh, body and wash their clothes and whatever there but this person was sitting and just was thinking about that particular incident means what has happened how a girl has reacted how have, how a girl has said about him and he was so much angry that he wants to take revenge from this girl mildred now what happens the scene shifts to fifth avenue a place uh, where industries are there where rich people live now as the scene shifts long and this yank is there and yank and long has basically gone there in search of mildred douglas this person yank want to uh, yank wants just just wants revenge and uh, that's why he is there in search of that daughter he has come to know uh, come to know that this girl is very rich she belong she is the daughter of uh, an industrialist of steel uh, owner of the steel industry and uh, so he goes there he was standing there he sees many rich people going and coming and uh, they were going inside the church they were coming but they were uh, not even paying a single attention means not a single glance at him and uh, they were so busy in their uh, work you can say or in themselves and the thoughts about that girl were in so but matlab uh, were there in his mind and he was not able to distinguish whether uh, the people around him are different or uh, means they are that girl and he starts attacking those people thinking that they are mildred mildred douglas you know means so much thing is uh, that uh, that particular word uh, or you can say phrase you feel the beast has uh, just surrounded him you know has surrounded his mind means he's thinking again and again about that a uh, particular incident hai na so in that uh, stupor you can say he attacks people and he is arrested by the police and he is taken to the police station and he is imprisoned there now as he was in the prison he sees the glass bar bars as glass bars are there na so he sees uh, that and these bars remind him of that girl and he just want to uh, you can say destroy them so he breaks them he was so powerful na so he breaks uh, those steel bars and as he was sitting he is beaten hai na he is ill treated by the policeman and as he was sitting up uh, you know the prisoners ask about his uh, you can say feelings or whatever has happened to him they ask about his story so he tells that what has happened and they said uh, they you can say they say that you should go to the uh, organization iww now this is a this is an organization which works for the welfare of uh, the people the poor people or you can say workers hai na so when he gets free he goes there at iww building the scene shifts to that building hai na so when he goes there uh, he meets the manager you can say he says that you have to register yourself uh, to be the part of iww so he registers himself he has to pay some money small amount of money so he pays that and he was in so much anger that he wants to take revenge from rich people his ideology you can say or his ideas were very destructive ones so people around uh, means people uh, who were present in that iww they became very shocked that what he is speaking he is mad person or whatever means uh, they just uh, take him wrong person and he is thrown out of that building and he was means you can say helpless his condition his mental condition was not stable uh, the thoughts the thought of that you can say belongingness was uh, he was searching for his a uh, home you can say or the proper place in the society means he was thinking that what is the proper place for me uh, am i an animal or am i a human being or am i a rich or poor person do i even exist means there is a question there was a question of existence in the person uh, in the mind of that person yank and uh, he was moving on the road he goes into a zoo and as he enters the zoo he finds a monkey or a chimpanzee in the in a particular cage now as he sees that uh, monkey he is again reminded of the same thought what paddy has said and what what that girl has said and he thinks that maybe he belongs to that particular place and he calls that chimpanzee brother and in that you can say unstable condition he opens the bolt of that um, cage and he enters there calling oh brother oh brother hai na he just wants to hug uh, that animal and uh, as he hugs that chimpanzee chimpanzee hugs him back and he uh, with force just breaks the rib cage of that person yank and he on the spot dies and he just says that i do not belong to him either 
huh? so this was a very uh, you can say sad play in which a person is uh, was very much you can say uh, comfortable with his work was very proud of his work you know and he is uh, made disillusioned by a girl's remark and out of that uh, this illusionment he is searching for his proper place in society and he does not get get that place and uh, because of, because of his mental trauma you can say or stupor he just ends his life so this was all about the summary of the play the hairy ape i hope this is very much clear jaane se pehle do share subscribe like and share my videos till then thank you thank you for watching and bye bye